So you like working in standalone mode. I'm gonna show you how to use your computer as a sound module. I'm gonna be short and sweet to the point. You're gonna need a couple things though. So, so, so bear with me. You need an audio interface that already has MIDI inputs. Say for example, like the SSL2 Plus. It has the in, has MIDI in and MIDI out. All right, so kills two birds with one stone. Now, if you have a interface like the Black Lion Audio, Revolution, which is a great interface for sure, and all you have is SPDIF input and output, I'm gonna show you what you'll need. You'll actually need a USB MIDI interface. You need something like this, the M-Audio USB interface. Uh, they do make, another, uh, another brand makes some as well, it's uh, the Mio, I'll link all that in the description. So you'll need these two things right here. Uh, so the USB MIDI interface and um, an interface that doesn't have MIDI inputs go hand in hand, all right? And last but not least, you will need, of course, these two things. You will need TRS, uh, quarter inch to quarter inch, that way that you can route your audio from the interface into the MPC Live. You would also need MIDI cables, right? For MIDI in, MIDI out, and you would really use this one with the SSL2 Plus, right? Because it already has MIDI inputs for it, which is actually excellent. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And last, last but not least, you would need a MPC Live, right? So boom, good to go. So now that we know all the pieces that we need, let's get some of this set up. All right, so we're gonna start with the SSL2 Plus first. I'm gonna get the MIDI cables. I'm gonna connect them. I'm gonna go MIDI out, it's gonna be gray. Up, upside down. All right, MIDI in is gonna be orange. Man, I'm struggling with this, y'all. All right. Now that I have the SSL2 Plus connected via MIDI, I'm gonna connect the MIDI inputs and outputs to that Live 2, all right? So orange is gonna be MIDI in. I'm gonna do the opposite and then A, port A is gonna be MIDI out and it's gonna be gray. All right? It's pretty much simple as that. Next, what I'm gonna do is take those quarter inch male to male balance cables. I'm gonna plug them into right and left. So keep that in mind. Left is black, red is um, right. Now I'm going to grab interface here. So let me actually put this down so you guys can see better. All right, now we connect those same cables into the output for the SSL2 Plus. So we're gonna go, of course, uh, black is gonna be left. We're gonna put red right here for the outs. I always crank my volume because I control the volume of the VSTs via the record volume right here. So what the signal coming in, I'm controlling it via the NPC Live too, all right? So simple as that, I would turn it on, I would plug the SSL2 up, and I would control the VSTs, the standalone VST via the SSL2 Plus. All right, so let's unhook all this and do it the other way. All right, so we're gonna literally do the same thing with this USB MIDI interface with the Black Lion Audio Revolution, all right? So I'm gonna take the MIDI in and MIDI out. As you see, these have, you know, corresponding cords where to put these at, so MIDI in. Gonna plug that into the MPC Live too, so let's do that real quick. MIDI in, right here. It's gonna be port one. MIDI out, got right here. All right, so it's gonna be port A. Make sure I got it the right way. Now, now that I have that set up, I'm gonna grab the Black Line Audio. Gonna connect, of course, TRS. Put those in, boom. Make sure my volume's turned up. Find a spot for it. The next, of course, plug it into the inputs for the MPC Live. And 
And then I'm gonna take the M Audio USB interface and of course plug it into the computer or a USB hub, preferably the computer. You don't wanna have any like delay because of the hub. Weird things happen when using electronics. All right, so now the next thing we need to do is grab the speaker cables that we would normally put into uh, our interface and plug them into the MPC Live. So let me find those. All right, so I got the speaker cables. I'm gonna plug them into the main outs. Boom. All right, so everything's hooked up. Let's head on over to the computer and get everything started. Now we need to get everything set up via the computer. All right, so let me show you what you would need to do. First, you will go to the VST that you have that's in standalone mode, like for example, Triton. I have the Triton already ready. All right, so the Triton is up. So the first thing that you wanna do once you open up your VST in standalone mode is look for a menu button, an option button, or a preference button. Uh, this is where you'll be able to adjust the audio MIDI settings. And then from the audio MIDI settings, you should be able to see active MIDI inputs. So right here, as you see, the USB uh, Uno MIDI interface is already selected. Now, what I need to do is make sure as well that my output is coming from the audio interface that I'm using, which is the Revolution 2x2. If I was using the SSL, I would use the SSL 2 Plus uh, as the active MIDI input and the output as well. I would be pretty much ready to go. I wouldn't have to have that extra um, USB MIDI interface. Now, let's see. We don't hear anything because I'm pressing buttons on it, right? What we need to do now is go to MIDI on the MPC. And then from MIDI on the MPC, we need to assign it a MIDI port. Now we know we plugged it up into MIDI port A, so I should be good to go, right? No sounds, no sounds, no sound. But something is actually happening on what? The MPC, so the MPC is registering it. All right, so we're good to go on that part, but in order for us to actually hear a sound, we need to go, double tap the mix button or go into sampler and turn on in. Now, we should be able to hear a sound. Let's see. Now, we should be able to hear a sound. All right, so let's scroll through some patches that the Triton has. Let's see what we can find. So we got browse. Uh, let's go to uh, slow synth. All right. That's too slow. I don't want to fool with that. All right, so let's find some progressions. Let's actually go to the combination and let's see what we can find. Browse. Let's do romance layers. <laughs> So keep in mind, all I'm doing on the MPC Live 2 is just recording the MIDI. Well, not actually recording the MIDI. I'll record the MIDI via an audio file, and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so let's lay that down. to line up first. All right, so we got that. Now, we need to record that, right? So we're gonna press audio, which is right here. We're gonna name, rename this track in the first place. I'm gonna call it Romance Layers. Romance Layers. Boom, do it. I'm gonna edit audio, I'm gonna press record. Don't do overdub, because watch this, you do overdub, it's not recording, so you, you literally have to record. And remember, we're gonna control the, the level in that's being recorded from the MPC. So that's too loud, turn it down. Ooh, I don't want it peaking that high. 
All right, so let's record it now. Got the level set right. All right, so I got the audio and everything set up how I would want it. And then if I wanted to fade it in, fade it out, of course you got your buttons up there that you can use. I can fade it out, I can fade it in, uh, I can reverse it. But remember, you hear that? I need to delete that MIDI if I don't want to hear it anymore. So that MIDI is still here and it's still outputting to the Triton. So let's erase that. So it's still going to be outputting to the computer until you delete it. Now, if we go back to audio, go to edit audio. That's pretty cool. Definitely pretty cool, man. Uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful and it's helped you guys to actually understand that you can use your computer as a sound module. You don't have to buy, you know, hardware sound modules. The reason I do is because, you know, I'm, everything is a, is a subscription plan now and, you know, I want to at least own something. So I bought the JV1080. Probably will be buying either the Integra 7 or the Yamaha Motif, uh, Motif, however you pronounce it. Either or, because I just want to have something, because you can't sell software. You might be able to sell a license, but you can return the hardware if you don't like it. So keep that in mind. You know, you always want something, and then I don't like working on a computer like that. I literally only use a computer as a sound module now. Let's put in some work, baby. <laughs> That's all I really got to say, man. This is the keys, man. And then recording from your audio interface until the, the converters in the MPC, you're getting a sound that's kind of hard to to duplicate it. Everything's gonna sound full, it's gonna be big, it's gonna be wide, all of that. So keep that in mind. I really think this is what they've been doing the whole time, recording it to, you know, like consoles and everything just sounds alive and full. It's the way, man. I appreciate y'all, man. Remember, let's put in some work. Hit that like, subscribe button. We out, baby. We full time. Let's ride.